Howdy friends. Hope everyone is enjoying their weekend so far. In today's video, I'm going to cover my EDC medical kit. Now this isn't the be all end all of what to carry in your kit. Just what I carry on a daily basis that should get the job done until medical professionals can take over. And as with most of my EDC gear, it's nothing too expensive and fits my budget. So let's start with the pouch itself. I'm using the Maxpedition Beefy Pocket Organizer. On the exterior, it has one five and three quarter by five and one quarter inch mesh pocket. The main compartment is six by two and a half by eight inches, has one six by six and a half inch slip pocket on the left side with nine horizontal elastic channels and one eight by five inch zippered pocket on the right side and six vertical elastic channels. It is treated for water and stain resistance and is constructed for durability. It also comes in several color combinations with mine being OD green and black. Now for the gear and supplies I carry inside. First, I always have a handful of nitrile medical gloves which I thrown into a Ziploc bag. These are a necessity and should be in every medical kit. Next, I have several alcohol and BZK antiseptic pads for the cleaning of minor cuts and scrapes prior to applying any type of bandaging, which I also have in the same Ziploc bag. I have several self-adhesive fabric bandage and a few sterile gauze pads along with a four foot roll of gauze to secure them. For larger lacerations and puncture wounds, I also carry a pack of two Neustat hemostatic pads. These can be lifesavers in controlling the bleeding of larger wounds and should be a part of every EDC medical kit. They aren't too expensive and don't take up too much room in the pouch. I also have an aluminized rescue blanket for reducing the effects of the cold in an emergency situation or when suffering from shock. Moving over to the right side of the pouch, I have a pair of Leatherman Raptor Rescue Shears. This is an awesome set of shears that, as with all Leatherman products, has several other handy tools. In the folded position, you have access to the strap cutter, which locks into position for safety. The strap cutter also has an oxygen tank wrench at the base. There is also a glass breaker embedded in the larger finger loop. Opening the shears is quick and easy, which of course gives you access to the shears, as well as a five centimeter ruler and a ring cutter. I haven't tried out the ring cutter yet, but it is definitely beefy and looks like it would cut thinner rings. I also like the blunted tips of the shears. You definitely don't have to worry that you will cut yourself or the person you are working on. To close the shears, just push the lock on each side and fold the handles. Really nothing to it. The carrying options are with the integrated pocket clip, the thermoplastic belt holster, or on a lanyard. I also carry a CAT tourniquet. CAT stands for Combat Action Tourniquet. This is the tourniquet used by US military forces and is one of the best tourniquets on the market. As with the hemostatic pads, no medical kit should be without one. I have received training in its use, but I keep the easy to follow instructions with it, just in case I am the victim and I am unconscious or otherwise not able to provide instruction on its application. And finally, in the zippered compartment on the right side, I carry the Hero Healer Medical Response Kit. This is really just a small foreign object removal kit, but I really like it because it has a great set of fine point tweezers. The kit also has an LED magnifier, a small pair of folding scissors, and numerous splinters and stinger removal attachments. I also threw in some additional alcohol pads and antibiotic ointment packs. And there y'all have it. As I said in the beginning, this isn't the definitive word on EDC medical kits. Just what I have settled on as the necessities for me which should handle a situation until the medical professionals can take over. I'll probably add a few more items over time and when I do, I'll be sure to update y'all. I've left links to all the items in the description. I don't get anything from these companies. I just wanna give y'all a starting point if interested. As always, if y'all enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and feel free to drop any questions in the comments. Also check out my channel for more outdoor and EDC videos. 
While you're there, hit that subscribe button and notifications bell. It's greatly appreciated. Y'all enjoy the rest of your weekend.